Oh, hey everybody. Lemon Row here, Roman Gnome. I'd like to uh, say greetings to all you guys out there. Those of you in the Roman Gnome Society, the circle of the gnome, Kirkenday Gnomen. Well, today, what I'd like to discuss is, one more time, Mulatto. Points for prizes, survival gear, and sustainability toolage for free. Okay? Today, when I woke up this morning, Saturday, you know, it's late November, it's hunting season, trapping season, and, uh, you know, we're out here in the Ozarks, right? Isn't that what we're doing? Camping, tramping, mapping, scrapping, purveying, surveying, fishing, hunting, get it? But we have certain problems where we're not, a, you know, we want to do it on the low, low, and we don't want to carry around a bunch of stuff, and I don't want to do a bunch of political signing and registration and all that. So what can we do that's some basic, some basic stuff? Well, hey, you know, Points for Prizes is one of the ways I've been kind of making it. You know, I got the tent, the stainless steel canteen, the compass, you know, the brunt and compass. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, the electronic device, you know, that plays the videos and has the internet and the phone capabilities and can run multiple SIM cards. Remember, you know, we're a member of the first responders, you know, and ministers, volunteer that. So that means we don't get paid. We don't have salaries. But we do have the ability to find, you know, collect things, find things, you know, trade, scrap. So we do have the ability to have some kind of a small income to take care of ourselves, to trade, or, you know, to sustain ourselves in society. We can't be just a total man on the Silver Mountain, you know, and not come down to town occasionally and speak to the citizenry, right? But anyhow, make a long story short, get on down with the get down. Today what we're going to do is, if you look at this one, these were all, I went through these, and I get these in front of the convenience stores. They're sitting right on top of the trash can most of the time. I can get this many in about 45 minutes. See all the points? It's a penny a point. See the numbers on there? And But occasionally what happens is I win a dollar amount. Today I won five bucks. Okay, well, we are working on trapping implements this week. I'll show you again. Five dollars. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine, and uh, under thirty-nine there. See, it says five dollars. I was assuming it was five hundred at first, or fifty, but it's five. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this five-dollar ticket. We're going to turn it into Ocean's Farm. And we're going to go to Gerbs, and then we're going to take a trip to Ocean's Farm and Feed Store, and we're going to buy us a one ten Kana Bear Spring Loaded Trap. Now. For those of you who don't know what a 110 Kana Bear spring-loaded body trap is, it's designed specifically for minks and muskrats and things like that. It's a, it was a trap designed by a French fur trader, I believe, from Canada. I think that was back in the day. But it's a mechanical metal. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that you're going to fashion out here, you know, from strings and sticks. It's something that long-term sustainability, you know, type device. So you can have one of these for a few years, easy. As long as you take care of it, oil it, I'm sure. And it's a trap. It catches animals and fish. Okay, so that's what we need. You know, for sustainability, we need the ability to have fish. And uh, we have to have meat. That means we have to get it from animals. Okay? So anyhow, we're going to use this trap from the amount of the $5 that we won. Okay, and that's what it's going to do to help us sustain ourselves. Okay, that's because that's what it is. It's tools for the trade of sustainability. Mechanical traps, they work. Okay, they do work. I've done some research on it. I'm not a trapper. I'm a fisherman. And back in the day with my early teens, I, I was a hunter. I liked to hunt rabbit. That was it. Fish and rabbits. And quail. That's it. Now that I remember. Yeah, fish, rabbits, and quail. That was it. That was all I would ever eat, fish, rabbit, and quail. But we don't have that luxury up here, so what we're going to do is, and I'm getting older, I don't have the good eyesight no more, so my hunting days, they were over a long time ago, but now if I have to do it again, I'm not going to, I don't have it. My hand's broken, I got a bad foot, this hand right here is, well, it was broke back in the 20s, when I was a 20, 20-year-old, 20 you know, rooster. 
But uh, I ain't got it no more. I do, but I don't, if you know what I mean. I still have it, but I don't have it as 100%. You know, I'm not firing all four cylinders. So what we're going to do is we're going to use traps. I've never used traps before, never been interested, not even a mouse trap. Don't even, I know what they are, don't care. You know, let them be free, let them eat cheese, okay? But so what we're going to do is in case, you know, we need to, the winter time's coming up, it's November, it's hunting and trapping season here in Missouri. I am in Missouri, central Missouri, the Ozarks, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get us a couple trapping implements, right? Two is one, one is none, rule of threes. You know, a backup plan for my backup plan. An insurance for that one. So, I thought it'd be a good idea to get a couple of these traps. Well, last week I did win something similar, okay? On another lottery ticket, I didn't document it, I didn't record it, I didn't even post it up. And I should have because I think that this could help some other guys out there in other states as well that have lottery, okay? Or maybe just to show you the trapping a little bit. And I want you to know that I don't, I'm not a sport hunter. This is, this is for food and clothing and, and, and minor tools if necessary. I don't kill for fun and I don't like it, but it's here and, and that's the way it is, okay? It brings me no pleasure. So and all my friends out there who are going, well, Glenn's not a vegetarian no more. Yeah, I am, but sometimes you just gotta eat the, eat the animal, okay? Or they'll eat you, remember? So anyhow, I just thought I would show you this Real simple method of, you know, I collect these in front of the convenience stores. Real easy. I got this in, you know, a whopping 45 minutes, I believe. I, I checked it. I checked them this morning. Went to Hardee's, sat and drank a cup of coffee, and already had a stack. You know, that was probably from last night. You know, it's Saturday, Friday night. People get paid. They go down there, blow some money, shopping. Everybody's off today. First or first, first of the month, middle of the month. You know, things like that. Use your brain. Then I came back, and five minutes later. There was another stack because I'm on my way back outside. You know, to, I'm going to camp. It ta I'm five miles outside of the township, which is a village, but I'm five miles outside of that. So I have to go back into the city to cash this in. So I take this to Gerbs. They'll give me a five dollar bill. And for those of you who don't know what the lottery scratch off's all about. Um, I usually just collect these for the points for prizes, but sometimes people do miss. They didn't scratch it off correctly or they misread it. They made a mistake. You know, they got in a hurry or they bought a couple in a roll and they didn't read it. You know, people make mistakes. They might have not. Sometimes I actually see them. They don't even want to cash in five bucks because it's not worth their time. That's how ridiculous it's getting. So what I'm going to do is with the one that I found, $5 winner, okay, I'll show you again one more time. $5 winner on the scratch off. I didn't buy it. I don't play these. I just pick them up off the ground and out of the, all the trash and whatever's blown around at the car wash. I put the points in the computer and I buy items online that I need. Compass, stainless steel canteen, a tent. See where I'm going with this? Communication device. I got a Leatherman's tool, an $85 one on its way. See, I'll show that when it gets here, but I'm trying to let you know how I get it. A Leatherman's multi-tool costs $85 at Lowe's. I didn't pay for it. I ordered it off of this. Okay? When it gets cold, I go up to Hardee's and I sit in there drink coffee till I warm up and then I go do what I can to try to find something to do. I live by what I find. Well, once again, I found one of these. Well, last week I found one too and I bought a 110 Conibear trap and I wanted to use it for a little bit, you know, a couple days in a row. It works. It's bulletproof. It does catch animals. I've been catching birds in it. Okay? Well, a bird getting crushed by 110 pounds is not a very pretty sight and doesn't make much of a meal. You can eat them, but they're about this big. But anyway, I, they're bulletproof, they work, and they're simple. And to me, that makes sense, and yeah. So we're going to get two of them. So I've already purchased one with the lottery ticket that I found last week. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this in and buy another one. So now I have two, okay? Two is one, one is none, rule of threes. I need a backup plan for my backup plan that's insurance. You know what I'm saying? I need at least have two in case one happens to the other one or whatever. You see what I'm saying? I have to have, you know, a variety or more than one way to do this in case that way fails. You know, you don't put all your money on one horse, do you? 
wait a minute. That could get you in trouble in some circles, especially with women, unless they're cool with that. And if they are, hey, email me and let me know. But anyhow, the whole point of this episode, okay, this is the 110 Conor Bear points for prizes. Hey, I didn't pay for it. I didn't have to. The money was freely given. I bought something useful and resourceful, which is a tool. You know, my grandpa always says, hey, tools, trucks, you know, farming equipment. So I'm getting man gear or woman gear, survivability stuff. Okay? I'm not being, you know, a misogynist or feminist or what do they call that? I'm just used to the man always having to, hey, you're, you're the breadwinner, you guys, and they help you, but you got to be in charge. You're the oldest, you know, and you got to do this and that. So that's why I was always kind of like, I do things a little bit different than the younger ones don't understand, and my grandma really don't understand. She thinks it's barbaric. You just go to Walmart and put it on the credit card. I'm like, hey, I'm doing it old school. I'm going to go out here. This is where the food comes from. But I just thought it was cool. Five bucks, we get a trap, we catch food. The traps last anywhere between, you know, five to 20 years for five bucks. Didn't have to do much for it. It just fell into my lap. Feed store's next door to the uh, grocery store. So we turn these in, then we go to the farm store. Pretty simple. But I thought I'd share that with you guys out there because, like I said, you probably have a lottery thing in your state and you probably are having some of the same problems I have like I said you got robbed you lost everything you had you're starting over hey maybe you're just starting off and you would write really to have some good gear and learn from the failures and the successes of those that were before you okay and that's what I, I, I think is cool it's like hey you know what I've, I've screwed up a lot and what works for me will probably work for you because well somebody else it worked for them and so then I used it and I was like hey it worked for me right let's keep it like that keep it simple and keep it you know accessible and manageable like I said too much stuff is just a pain in the butt so I figure a couple traps you know I did purchase a slingshot a simple slingshot converted into a, a, a bow I thought that idea was really good and uh, and plus for you guys who get in trouble with you know having firearms or certain you know restrictions on hunting and things like that you can keep it low profile you can still make it you still won't be offending in the masses or get you know put on the radar you won't get in trouble so I'm getting at but just responsible with the trapping okay and that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna get a couple traps and like I said we didn't pay for them and we're gonna use them we're gonna put food on the table okay that's what we're gonna do so I'm Glenn Monroe the Roman gnome And uh, all you guys out there, the uh, Roman Gnome Society, Circle of Gnome, Gnome and Dick uh, we're going to add on a little bit more to this playlist and uh, about the conibear trap, do a little bit of research on it, but uh, how to use it. And like I said, I, I've never had one before. I used it. I caught two animals in it already. Pretty, pretty damn easy. You just bait the whiskers and they come up and peck on it and bam, they're in there. So, hey, anyway, I thought I'd share that. I'll see you guys later. There's going to be more because remember, we have the other parts. You got to go to the store. Remember, I already addressed that. So, I'll see you all in a little bit.